Yeah, the Nox is flack here, and happy Tuesday morning. The only reason I sound happy while recording is because I'm not actually recording on a Tuesday. And we're going to be playing an Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition single player campaign video. We're continuing with the Art of War campaign. Yesterday we did Early Economy, and now I'm going to do Fast Castle Age. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you love Age of Empires, check out my playlist channel and watch your favorite campaign. I've got... I will have probably played them all by the time you find this video, as as of recording this, all I have left is this and Kochia Khan and the rest are done. So with that cringe out of the way, let's begin with Fast Castle Age. A good commander must learn to be decisive in war. Hesitation or mistakes can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Just as a soldier practices his spear thrusts, so too must a commander learn to be efficient and repeat tasks until he knows them by heart. Sun Tzu says, a clever fighter wins his battles by making no mistakes. Making no mistakes is what establishes the certainty of victory, for it means conquering an enemy that is already defeated. Few generals make it this far. Let us see if you are one of them. One of the most common strategies in multiplayer games is the Fast Castle Age strategy. Today, you will learn to execute a particular build order for this. A build order is a set of instructions to be strictly followed in order to guarantee the most efficient gameplay. They are quite common in multiplayer games, so research them in your free time. First of all, it is very important to never leave your town center idle. Check your town center regularly to see if a villager is being trained. If not, use the Go to Town Center hotkey to jump to your town center and click the Create Villager button to train or queue up another villager. If you do not have enough food, force your villagers gathering food to drop off their resources. Use the rally flag in your town center to task it to send new villagers to a resource or construction site when they are trained or ungarrisoned. When villagers are newly created or when they complete a task, they can go idle. Keep an eye on the idle indicator on your top panel. Click on it or use the idle villager hotkey to cycle between idle villagers and send them back to work. Remember, build orders are a great way to improve your play, but do not forget to strategize. No single game is the same, so you will often need to think outside of the box. Good luck. Alright, it looks like we need to get to the castle age as fast as possible. Similar to the last game where I got to the feudal age very fast. 27 villagers, build two houses, advance to castle. I don't want to read those. Click on your town center and queue multiple villagers. Have two villagers build one house and one villager build the second house. Use your scout cavalry to look for sheep and other resources. Love the early parts of Age of Empires too. The whole map. Send any history. idle or new villager to collect food from sheep. Do this until you have six villagers collecting from sheep. This is very specific. Kia. The next villager that you create must build a lumber camp. Do not forget to queue up more villagers as well. When they are created, task them to collect wood. <clears throat> so now we need four lumberjacks. Um, <clears throat> what is important? So there's your four with 343. If you are relatively new to luring boars, you should research loom at your town center after your next villager is trained. Experienced players can save loom for later. Make sure that your scout keeps on exploring. 
you need to find all eight sheep and both boars. The next villager that you create will have to build a house near one of the boars. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. This dude. Kid? Set oh. the rally point of your town center on your Where forage bushes and have the next villager that you create build a mill next to them. Kia? Mill? Raboye. Seem to be doing okay. Lure the boar to your town center. You should know how to lure a boar by now. If you do not, play the early economy challenge. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Lure the second boar with the next villager that you create. I don't want to. If you do not have the food to create more villagers, force your boar hunters to drop off their food at your town center, and then immediately task them back to the boar. Have the next three villagers also forage for berries. Airline. <sighs> Build my, another house. With my very low uh, amount of line of sight, I can't really do too much. Send the next six villagers that you create to collect wood. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Build a second lumber camp to spread out your lumberjacks. This will make your lumberjacks more productive and ensure that you have two places to collect wood from in case of an enemy attack. Kid Boonage. The game doesn't seem super interested in You will need another house after the next villager is trained. Kia Robwigya Boonage. Doesn't seem super interested in gold just yet. Salgara, Kunit, Kid, Kid Salgara. Do not forget to keep training villagers. Your town center should not fall idle. Arla, bit Kunit. the next three villagers to build a mining camp and mine gold. There we go. Kia. Kia. You will have enough villagers to advance to the next age once the next one is trained. Cue the feudal age research at your there town you center. Go. 
Folgare. Säljare. Kill. Kärt. Bra bojje. Jag går med Fax. Folgare. Bid fyr. There is not much to do while you wait to reach the feudal age. Keep scouting and keep an eye on your villagers to make sure that they do not go idle. Once you reach the feudal age, you will need 325 wood to build a blacksmith and a market. Queue up two more villagers while you wait for the feudal age to be researched. Have them and any other idle villagers collect wood once they are created. Alright, idle villagers. Kia. Raboyge. Raboyge. Folgare. Raboyge. Kid. Raboyge. Kia. Kid. Raboyge. Alle. Raboyge. Now, task one villager to build a blacksmith, and task two villagers to build a market. Hint, if you have more than 900 food stockpiled, research double bit axe at your lumber camp. This is a very good early technology. I'm gonna need this food. Kia. So now I just need 800 food. Air love. To get to the castle edge. While we wait, <laughs> I think once these guys deposit, great. Now advance to the castle age. Excellent. That. You have completed this challenge. Hopefully, you are happy with your time. If not, feel free to try again. <laughs> That might have been gold. Ah, oh, it was silver. Dang. Oh, well. But there you go. That was fast. Castle Age next will be booming. But until tomorrow, this has been Noxus Fleck. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.